Dear friends, <laughs> sources told the stadium the NCAA advises schools that are uh, that after a student athlete has confirmed a positive COVID test, they will not have to test again for the next three months unless they show symptoms. For example, players who test positive in July will not have to test again until October. We talked about this quite a bit. Clemson and LSU, it kind of looked early on like, okay, you know, it, maybe this herd immunity thing is something. Now, it's it's a little bit terrifying because if you get it wrong, I mean, it could mean your job. Well, yeah, if you, if somebody gets really bad sick, then it's then it's you know, it, it wasn't worth it and it's 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 dangerous. But yeah, I mean, that's one of the beauties that seem to be finding out about this disease is that we haven't found anybody to catch it twice. Yeah. And, and, you know, you, you build up antibodies, all this other stuff. So all of these people that have gotten it are, are getting it, aren't going to have to worry about being tested. They're not going to have to worry about being quarantined. They probably don't need to live in the bubble that everybody else is living in. Um, and so for younger, healthier people, it, they just seem to be young people just seem to be more willing to take risk anyway. Okay. Yeah. That's just that lifestyle. We were the same way. We were no different. I feel older than I've ever felt in my life saying the word young people, but that I'm, I'm just not that I'm, I'm not even close to that. Oh, agreed. and so agreed. I mean, and, from, from yeah. what we are hearing from the people that, uh, that are in the know, the people that are the most well-connected, the positive cases from when athletes came back on campus were not from them being around each other. Damian jumps no. in on YouTube. He said, what's up? It was from when they got back to campus, they did the things that normal 18, 19, 20-year-olds do, which is go out and chase girls, go out and party with your buddies. You know, you're going out to bars, you're going out wherever. Like, you're going out. You're being social. You're doing what you are expected to do when you are a college student. And now that they are in their team settings and the leaders of the team, the seniors and the, the fifth-year seniors, the juniors, et cetera, the guys that really have a lot at stake with this season, now that they have sat everybody down, uh, they are, you know, they're, they're telling all these kids, hey, this is important. You need to buckle down at least for this season, yeah. right? So, up oh, Terry Brewer jumps in. He said, what's happening, Crackers? There we go. Got to love it. Got to love it. We are getting some guys in with these earlier shows that we typically do not get. So, uh, so yeah, with, with that said, I, you know, we're seeing far less positive tests now as we get closer to camp than we are uh, or than we were at the beginning. And I think yeah. that is a great sign going forward that the guys know how to handle themselves and that they are being taught the right way to go about making sure that they do not get this thing. But if they go ahead and get it, you don't have to be tested again for three months. Now, who, in your opinion, is the most likely to try and get as many kids sick as possible right off the bat to make sure that they are uh, quarantined now, but they're good for the season? Oh, I think it's the big three that's already been getting it. I think it's Alabama, LSU, and, and Clemson. Yeah. And you don't think yeah. Ohio State pulls that? Uh, well, they haven't so far. I know that they shut down. Like they, I don't think they no, reported. Like they quit football operations because a few people got it. And LSU never quit football operations nope. when we had all those kids get quarantined. We just quarantined them, and, and everybody else kept working. No, I will say that. And Clemson uh, did the same thing. And Alabama felt left out of that conversation. They said, whoa, whoa, whoa we got to get some kids. And they had a big old party, and they were joking about who could get it first. Um. Let's see, da, 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 da. Uh, Cecil Hurt. So we've had him on the show multiple times. He said, not sure if it's a milestone, but Alabama football will have an NCAA permissible teaching walkthrough today. So Nick Saban and the football players on the field uh, or will be on the field together for the first time since January 1st. So it's a probably now, I will tell you result. that I think Clemson and LSU will be a little more um, – Willing to take risk with this because their coaches are not at danger as as Alabama might be a little different. Saban is very much used to hands on ass chewing. Okay, and I don't know that he is the kind of leader that would do well leading. He is not leading because he is an X and O's mastermind. All right. Yeah. He is 
He is a motivational guy and a leader by fear and rule. And if that is sitting in a booth 300 yards away, that doesn't come off as very effective. So they probably want to be a lot more cautious than those other schools. Just, just for the fact that they have a coach that's at um, the most important figure yes. is at risk. Yes, that is true. That is true. All right, with that, we'll jump off and we will discuss more college football right here 